Steve, fantastic news about promotion to the National League. How are you feeling? Yeah, really, really proud. Um, obviously, it was a bit of a long wait uh, over the last month um, following our application to, to get promotion. And uh, we finally got the good news. And um, I'm so pleased. I'm pleased for the players. Um, they've worked really hard over the last two years in, in two stop-start seasons. And to get this at the end of it, it's a uh, it's really great reward for all their hard work. And just explain to us a little bit about how it's all come about, because as you said, you know, it's been two stop start seasons and now to be rewarded with the promotion at the end of it must be fantastic. Yeah, it's been it's been disappointing, obviously, from from the lockdown uh, situation that the seasons have started, stopped, started again and then had to be finished. So both the last two seasons have been declared null and void, which is a difficult situation. So we had the opportunity from the FA um, based on um, our um, appearances and performances over the last two years uh, to apply for promotion, which we've done. Um, and, um, you know, obviously following um, two league seasons where we've only had one defeat, a couple of good FA Cup runs and getting to the League Cup final that was never played. Uh, all of that's been taken into account to come up with a decision that we've been promoted to the National League. So, you know, obviously very proud of that situation. And for you, obviously, the first time the season was null and voided, we were sat in top spot, you know, going well for promotion. The second time we'd only played one league game, but we'd won it 11-0. So for you and the girls, is, is this a, a reward that's been, been coming for a while? Yeah, it's been a real contrast. Obviously, we, we have that focused about wanting to get into the National League. That was our, that has been our target for such a long time now to get into the National League. And I think we had seven games to go and we felt that we were in a really good position to get promoted and COVID struck and that season was never finished. And obviously, we started the next season and again, a situation only allowed us to play one league game because of our success in the FA Cup, where we played six matches in the FA Cup. So, you know, I think the players felt that they deserved it and uh, they're ready for the National League. And, um, but it was an anxious wait over this last month and um, you know, the players are going to be absolutely delighted with, with the news that they've been promoted. And those players, how proud are you of them? You know, they've had to keep going through really, really tough times. They've seen their season stop more than once and you know, they've just kept going. They haven't even been able to see each other and train. But for them, they've, they've always had that positive attitude, haven't they? Yeah, so proud of them. Um, we pushed them hard and we expect um, you know, high standards from the players, but they've responded in, in such a positive way for the last two years. It's, it's not been easy for anybody in, in normal life, but obviously football plays such a big part to our players and part of their, their weekly routine that they have that when that's taken away, it's, it's a massive loss. And uh, they had to find the motivation to, to stay fit, to train on their own, own at home, which is challenging in itself. But every time they were asked to come back in following any period of lockdown, they always came back in a good shape. And we were managed to hit the ground running. Our performances have been very good. So I've been except, exceptionally proud of them and they're a great group to work with. And um, like I say, I'm just so pleased for them as players that they've uh, finally got reward for some of their performances over the last two years. And a couple of the games that did take place this season in the FA Cup were against teams in the National League. We had two wins. We had one against Buckland and, and one against Southampton Women. For you, does that kind of set a good marker as to the standard that they'll be next season and, and what you can expect? Yeah, I think over the last two years in the FA Cup, we've, we've had the opportunity to play teams from the National League and uh, we've seen the standard and we know that's going to be a real challenge. But... You know, in the FA Cup, it's a one-off game and uh, we were able to come out on top of those games. Now the challenge is for us to, to play that calibre of teams week in, week out and uh, raise our standards again, which we've done over the last kind of like period of uh, the last five or six years since we've taken on the women's team. So, you know, it's a real challenge for the players now to try and match those standards week in, week out and get those levels of performance up that we can compete in the league above. And now what's the plan going forward? Obviously, we've got a pre-season and then the season will start in August. Where are the girls at in terms of, you know, their pre-season? Yeah, it was, a, it was a difficult one for me because I was looking at uh, two scenarios. One is that if we played in the league that we're currently in, that starts in September, which would have the players coming back around about June, July the 19th. Um, but the league that we're going into, the National League, um, means that we start on August the 15th. So we've had to shift everything forward three weeks. The players are coming back in on the 5th of July. Obviously, in preparation for that, we've, we've increased the amount of contact time we get with the players. They're going to be training three nights a week instead of the normal two nights a week to try and match that higher standard that we're playing in. So, you know, the demands keep coming for the players and, um, you know, they responded in every single season that we've been promoted so far. They've responded to the next challenge. So this is a really big one from this year going into the National League. And hopefully that pre-season period and the three sessions a week will hold us in good stead for a, for a good start, hopefully.
And how much are you just looking forward to getting back out there? You've had this news of the promotion and you've got the girls coming back in. That date of the 15th of August is in your mind. I bet you can't wait to get going, can you? Yeah, it's really difficult because I've got to hold the players back a little bit because um, we've, we've had that stop-start stop situation that we talk about and they just wanted to carry on playing from the end of this season. They didn't want to stop. They said, can we just carry on playing and be you know, in a physical shape ready to go for next season? But from my point of view, I had to think about you know, 12 months' time, hopefully no more lockdowns. That would have been a period of 15, 16 months with no gaps and playing. So we wanted to have a few weeks off, but you know, I've spoken to a few of them and they're, they're, they're keen to get going again. And um, come 5th of July, they'll be ready. I'm sure they'll be doing their own fitness plans as well that we've sent them. And how much of a, a benchmark does this promotion set? You know, we've got, we're really lucky to have four girls teams. We've got a great pathway all the way through. For those young girls to see, you know, where the first team are and where they're heading is absolutely fantastic for their progress. Yeah, I think it's a reward for everybody. I'm so pleased, um, you know, when we took on the women's team back in two, 2015, we put up a development plan and that development plan had us playing in the, in the National League. And... I have to be honest, that, that looked a million miles away six years ago, but the, the development of the whole girls and women's programme has, has enabled the, the women's team to just to keep progressing year on year with the number of young players that we have coming in to the signings that we have as well. So I know that everybody's been, been really excited and all the girls teams are, are looking forward to the news as well. But I have to say a big thank you to everybody who's played a big part over that last six years. There's a, there's a number of um, coaches behind the scenes and a lot of admin that goes on to, to, to make sure that we can be as good as we can be every, every weekend. So this, is, uh, this promotion and us reaching our target of the National League is, is something that we're really proud of and we owe a great thanks to many people. And just finally, what would you like to say to the likes of Bournemouth University and Vitality? They've been such big supporters of our girls and women's programme and we've had other sponsors like iPro come on board this season as well. What would you like to say to them for their continued support? Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Their support is, is really, really important to us. Um, the infrastructure of the, of the women's team, we've grown it year on year and um, bringing in businesses such as the Vitality and uh, um, and Bournemouth University has just been really important and it gives us that infrastructure and that support that we're able to drive the women's team forward. So without them, we wouldn't be here as well. So we're really grateful for their support.